Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, the thing is, what my software will do for your organization is very simple. It will identify the loopholes in the current system of your company, and it will make up for them by running certain algorithms, which I cannot divulge right now until we close the deal. Hello? You haven't called in three days. Mom, we spoke this morning. Was that a conversation? You hung up on me. I I'm sure it's the network. What network? I might be old school, but I am not an illiterate. Take a break from the laptop. Come to Abuja and see your mother. Is everything all right, Mom? Is it until I'm not okay before you come to see me? Listen, Mom, it's not like that. I have work. Even right now, as I'm speaking to you, I'm working. And calls distract me. Can I call you back tomorrow? That is what you said last time. And you did not call. Yes, Mom, but I promise you this time, I would call tomorrow. Uh, have a great day, Mom. Inside, baby. Mommy will be right there. You should tell her that I am her father. Are you? Come on, Anita. Oh, please, if you come here to talk nonsense, I don't even have time for it. I have work to do tomorrow, so you get out because I don't have time for this rubbish. Your delivery work is not work. It's suffering. You don't need to work, Anita. Let me take care of both of you. <laughs> you must be crazy. Go, you are mad. I was 18 when I got pregnant for you, for your child. I came to you. I cried to you. You told me you'd take care of me. You left this country one week after without telling me. No calls, no text. I found out on Facebook. Ugo, I reached out to you. I reached out to you and you blocked me. And then you. You show up eight years later and you just want to demand a space in my life because you have what? Money. So you think money can buy my child's life? You must be a bigger fool to have even thought that calling my number was the right thing to do. Ugo, Thunder will fire you if you don't get out of my house. Bastard. Anita, I have tried all means possible to be diplomatic with this. You will hear from my lawyers, okay? I'm going to get my daughter out of this filthy mess you put her into. Have a good day. I can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you. Come in. Yes, mom. The usual, right? Yeah, that's like you've been urging every day for the last. Listen, mom, I am not ignoring you. I'm just very busy with work. You don't just expect me to take a break, come all the way to Abuja to see you just because it's my birthday. Besides, you know I don't like celebrating birthdays. Mom, I have to hang up right now. I'll call you back. I love you, Mom. Don't you think hanging up on your mother is a bit rude? 
I mean, maybe she won't find time to go see her. Don't you think you should mind your business? Deliver the pizza and go? Of course, I'm sorry. I hope you've received the court late letters. I expect you to do the needful and get a lawyer. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I don't come. Huh. I don't show. Okay. You don't they judge me, they judge me for morning. So I decide, say, I'll come in the evening, but then you don't come back from work. Okay, well done. Take. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Take. Now quick notice with that. You have one week to leave this house. <sighs> Okay, I beg now. You know if you do this thing, I beg. Just, just give me one month. One week to leave my uncle's house. I don't tell you. Bye-bye. I don't tell you. I don't get that. So you can't even pay the rent. I won't have you raise my daughter in such conditions. Don't worry, I'm alive and doing well. Look, I will give you one more chance for us to settle this out of court. You have up until tomorrow to make up your mind. By tomorrow, a full-fledged court procedure will begin. I hope you have enough money to spend. Because I do. I don't need you to be merciful with her tomorrow. I know she cannot raise that money by tomorrow, so put a lock on that gate. She'll have nowhere else to go but to call me. It's okay. I can assure you that by tomorrow, I'll lock that place up. Good. should be. Where else could he be? Raymond spends all his days bent over a computer. Other young men would spend their weekends, birthdays at their girlfriend's place. Not Raymond. <laughs> but it's his 30th birthday now. He should be out celebrating with friends. <laughs> The only friend Raymond has is a computer. If you go now, he's there in that house, dressed in a towel and a suit, discussing software. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He takes after his father. No, Jude wasn't like that at all. Mm. My late husband loved technology, but not to the extent of not having time for me. Raymond's case is something else. He lives, breathes, eats the computer. Sometimes I wish my husband is alive so he could talk some sense into that young man. Janet, mm -hmm. you are his favorite aunt. Please, I need you to help me fix my son's catastrophic life. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Please do. Sister. Yes. Are you going to tell him about your condition? <sighs> no. I am not going to tell him. Why? Ray is quite fragile. If I tell him, it's going to break him. And I don't want that. I'll tell him, but I still I need some time. I need some time, my dear. Okay, it's all right. It's really fine, okay? Everything <sighs> is going to be alright. Thank you.
Happy birthday! You don't look happy to see us. Mom, you never told me that you were flying in from Abuja after we spoke last night. Yeah, that's because you ended the call like you always did. Because before I, was, I could say anything. I was busy. I am still very busy. You're always busy. It is your 30th birthday. And I'm here to surprise you, celebrate with you. Listen. Mom, I, I really do appreciate that. But you know me too well. And you know how I feel about things like birthdays. Did they teach you how to be a robot in programming school? Because many people I know celebrate their 30th birthday by going out to drink with friends or their girlfriend. Yeah. And here you are, bent over. What are Don't touch Fiona. You don't have a girlfriend, yet your PC is named after one. <laughs> Ray, may I ask a very important question? Ray. What is it? Are you? Oh, no, no, no. Goodness, no. Of course I am not. I like women. I mean, I, I love women. Hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, I, uh, yes. Um, somehow I. Um, Go on. I, I I used to have I I had Rosalind. That was in your first year at the university, like twelve years ago. <laughs> Since then. Wow. I never knew it has been that long already. Well, I, I've, I've had a couple of girlfriends. Yes, I, I had Fiona. No, 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 not, not Fiona the PC. I mean, Fiona, the real Fiona, who I named my PC after. And I, that must be her. Her? Uh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. The uh, thing is that she, she works for a pizza delivery company. That's why she's not here. Uh, and again, we, we had a fight. But I do have a woman in my life. Please just, just wait here. I didn't tell her that you were here. And um, she's a very sensitive person, so I have to go out and, and give her heads up. I'm so sorry I'm late. I, the traffic was crazy. Hey, just, just forget about that pizza girl. I, I know this sounds really awkward and it's really weird, but I need your help. Okay. I need you to pretend to be my girlfriend for five minutes. The thing is, my mother and her sister are inside. I, I told them that uh, you, you work for a pizza delivery company and that uh, we had a big fight. The only reason why you, you came is... Um, it's because you, you today is my birthday and you want to give me pizza. Please. <clears throat> well, what's in what's in it for me? What's in it for you? Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm willing to offer you twenty thousand naira. Twenty-five. 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 Okay, fine, fine. It's a deal. Oh. Please come in. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you, my dear? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm Auntie Janet, his favorite auntie. And this is his mother, my sister. Oh, it's so nice to meet you both. I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Thank you, ma'am. You 
You know I'm only here because of your mother, right? I'm still very mad at you. Uh, what's going on? Well, thing is, we had a fight two days ago, and he hasn't called me since then. Can you imagine? I only came with this pizza because it's his birthday. Come on, babe. I was very busy. That's the thing. Wasn't that the reason for our fight? Always busy on your laptop. If you would just drop that laptop for one day. I know how selfish he can be once he has his eyes fixed on that laptop. He didn't even budge this morning when he saw us. Hey. I have an idea. Sister, let's do that. Okay. Just a moment. Yes, ma'am. Thirty thousand are you? Stop being greedy. Thirty k deal. You agreed for twenty five. Deal. So we have decided mm. that we are going to be staying for two weeks. What? Two weeks? Isn't your your, your return flight to Abuja supposed to be this evening? Well, as we speak, we're requesting for a cancellation. Oh no, you can't. You you, you can't. I have plans. I mean, we have plans of our own. Right, babe? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. You never come to Abuja. The last time we saw you was, what, two years ago? The least you can do is give us two weeks. Anita? Yes, ma'am. That wouldn't be a problem, of would it? Of course not. Spending time with Ray's family would be an amazing thing. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Then it's settled. Yes, settled. Okay, so let's make this a memorable day. It's Ray's 30th birthday, so mm -hmm. I would like to cook something special for him oh, wow. and for every one of us. Oh. <laughs> Do you have some food stuff in the house? I, I was uh... going to go to the market after work. What's? <laughs> I, I, I could go to the market. Yes, yes, babe, why don't we go to the market now? Yes. Right. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, babe. Can we pull this off? Two weeks. Will I have a job? And you sat there nodding your head like an Agama lizard and made me agree. Come on now, that's your mother. You can't say no to her. Besides, I mean, I was going to quit my job anyway. If you would pay me well, I, I would act it out perfectly. What? Pay you 25k every five minutes for two weeks? Do you want to kill me? Look, if it's for two weeks straight, I can afford to pay 100k. No kissing? No touching? And we can share the same bed. I wouldn't share the same bed. Just pretense. Just pretense. Deal? Deal. Good. Can we go to the market now? Yes, but we need to stop by my house and, and my workplace. I need to quit this job in the most dramatic way first. Why? Because those people have been owing me for months. But now I would like to be a pretend girlfriend. Seems like it pays even better. I hear it looks funny, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm, so Definitely. you see, that's why I know that you look more like me. Huh. Yes. Don't you agree with me? I don't know. Uh, I don't see, know. I'll prove it to you. I'll show you more pictures. Baby pictures too. So that you understand that when you have it like this. What do you think you're doing here? Juliet, why are you talking to a stranger? Why did you tell me my father was dead? Baby, whatever he told you is a lie, okay? But why does he have pictures of you and him when you were mostly younger? Go inside. Go. I can't go inside. Why? The landlord put the padlock on the gate. Just up on the seat. Shut up! You have nowhere else to go. I said shut up! 
And he tell you you should just come to my house, okay? okay. Come with me, okay? Where are you going? I, Anita! Baby, I'll explain everything to you. You trust me, right? Okay. Where okay. are you taking my daughter to? Where are you taking my daughter to? See, I won't let you take my daughter out on the street into one of your numerous boyfriend's oh, cars. Don't test me. If you try it, I will do something we'll both regret. Are you really going to take my daughter away from me? What kind of model are you? The one that has pride and dignity. And you know, you've always had fish brains, so I know you don't know what that means. You think that is funny? Do you? daughter right i think you don't because you have been staring at me since i got into this car we need to talk you have a daughter and you're married why didn't you tell me before? Can you not overreact? I'm not married, I'm a single mother. And you didn't think it was necessary for you to mention it earlier? I was going to drop her off at my friend's place. Relax, she's not going to spoil our plans. I'll call my friend. Hey, babe, how far now? Where are you? No, 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 no problem. No problem at all. Okay, uh, safe trip, okay? Our plans might have to change. I can't... My friend is not around. No, 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 listen. My mom is expecting you and I for dinner. I'd have to do a lot of explanation if you do not show up. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. I need to take care of my girl. Okay, wait, let me just think. Um... You know what? I have a spare room in the house. We can smuggle her in there so she can stay there during the duration of the dinner. Um, well, I, I hope your, your daughter can stay there unsupervised. Yeah, she's a smart girl. She, I just have to tell her not to come out. Okay, fine. Fine then. Okay, we, we have to change that. We need to get you a gown. You can't turn up for the dinner looking like this in your uniform. Where are you going? I want you to tell me everything about my father and why you lied. Baby, I'll explain everything to you, but not now, okay? You need to get back in the car. I'm not going anywhere till you tell me everything. Hey, beautiful. <clears throat> Listen to me. I understand you have every reason to feel the way you feel about your mom right now. But you need to understand her and trust her. I know how mothers can be. As old as I am, my mother keeps me in the dark about so many things. Can you imagine she flew all the way from Abuja to Lagos to surprise me on my birthday without telling me? Who does that? Hmm? But hey, believe me when I tell you that you need to trust your mom. You have my word. Okay? Can we get in the car now? Good. Good girl. Okay.
what? What's that look on your face? Stop it. It's not like I'm dying tomorrow. Sister, tell me. I will tell him at the right time. I haven't seen Raymond in a long time. And you want me to break his heart by telling him that I'm dying? Listen, Janet, I understand your concern. I haven't seen my son in a long while. I don't want him to spend whatever time I have left with me and allow him to run around the hospital for my sake. Whatever time I have left, I want it to be with a happy and lively Raymond, even if it is for one day. That's the only way I can die happy. Janet, we have dinner to prepare for. Please go see to it. She sleeps like a snail. Huh? What? You don't know the meaning of the phrase, she sleeps like a snail? No. <laughs> then you must be the only man on earth that doesn't know the meaning of that phrase. It means she's a deep sleeper. She sleeps deep. Why didn't you just say she sleeps deep? Well, she sleeps deep. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're something. Beautiful and exquisite. Shall we? Our Father in heaven, we thank you because of this food that you have provided for us. This food that we are about to eat like a family, just the way it's supposed to be. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We say, Papa, bless this food for us. Amen. My God and my Father, I want us to continue to eat like this. Amen. Look at this, my son, Raymond. Father, I want you to open his eyes. Mm. Let him begin to see the beautiful thing by his side. Amen. That, that thing that he's looking about for Sokoto in everywhere, it is already by his side. Yes, Lord. My God, touch this, my son, that any time from now, he will propose to this, this my daughter that is near Amen. him. Amen. That in no distant time they will give me grandchildren. Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Look at my age. All my mates have grandchildren I don't have. <laughs> <laughs>
My God, touch my son to take action. Let me have grandchildren from him. Amen. Grandchildren that will surround my table like you promised me in the Bible. Amen. That my children and my grandchildren will surround me, surround Amen. my table. Amen. And we will eat like a family. Amen. Father, do it for me. Let my son say amen, Raymond. Let my son open his eyes and see the beautiful thing by his side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A woman that will come in and be cooking special food for me like this. Mm. Like this, my daughter here, mm. Anita, that can cook special food. What else is a man looking for? This is what I am looking for. God, grant me my heart desire. Grant my son his heart desire. Amen. That in no distant time, ah, we will go home and pay dowry. Amen. In no distant time, we will gather in the church for church wedding. Amen. Yes. I have accepted her. Mm. Father, I want you to bring her in fully Amen. so that she will continue to prepare this special food for my son. Amen. <laughs> and Raymond hid in the closet all the while. Wow. It was my late husband, God bless his soul, that took the pictures. And I carry it everywhere with me I go. Just a moment. I'll bring it out. Mom, please, please. Mom, please. That's a very embarrassing <laughs> picture. It is not please embarrassing. Don't. She never gets tired of I'm showing coming. that picture to everyone. It's an entirely embarrassing picture, Mom. <laughs> it is not. Oh. <laughs> So, what's the name? Juliet. Juliet? Yes. Oh, what a sweet name. How old are you? I'm 11. Really? You're so cute. Thank you. And I love your hair. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know that my name is Juliet too? Wow. Yeah. So, you're my namesake. <laughs> Juliet, you're so cute. Thank you. What class are you again? <clears throat> I wonder what's keeping her. Mm. One second. <laughs> Let me get her. Mm. So, how am I doing so far? Not bad. You're really good at acting. Mm -hmm. With the skills you've shown tonight, I think you'll make it big in Nollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I should go check on Juliet now. All right, let me come with you to make it less suspicious that way. Jesus one. Jesus one. Oh, you're so smart. Mm. Can I have a high five? Mm. <laughs> That's my baby. Oh. Hello, Auntie. <laughs> Hi, baby. I, I didn't realize you were up already. Mm. You didn't mention your niece was around. <laughs> um, well, she fell asleep in the car. You know, she's my sister, her mother. She's, she's away for a while. Great. So, how long is she going to be away for? About four days. Four days. Lovely. So, I can be allowed to stay with this cutie for that long. Oh, <laughs> she's so much fun to be with. <laughs> Do you even know that we're named six? Really? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> we are even friends now. My best friend now. I can see. <laughs> I call you grandmother. I always want to have a grandma. Oh, my princess. You're very free to call me grandma. Hmm? You're my granddaughter. There you are. So I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, Janet. I'm here with my new friend, my granddaughter. <laughs> Her name is Juliet. Okay. My namesake. 
Juliet. <laughs> I'm Auntie Janet. Nice to meet you. Uh, did you hear that? Oh <laughs> that is smart girl. Yeah. Um. Are you okay? Yeah, I just came out to get some fresh air. Oh, usually, when people say that, it's because they're trying to escape from something that upsets them. <laughs> I'm honestly wondering how you know this about people coming from someone that has ordered the same pizza every morning since I can remember. You clearly don't have a social life. So I want people. Most times, a person is very knowledgeable about their fears. People scare you. I've never felt truly accepted anywhere my whole life. When I was younger, when my father was still alive, he was a computer engineer. And as such, I knew a lot about algorithms. Growing up in school, my classmates hated the fact that I was smart about things they could not comprehend. So in every class, I was always the odd one out. And you know, that had a great effect on the way I saw people. Over time, I learned to build walls around me so that nobody would be able to hurt me. I see. But you know the thing about building walls? They end up being your own prison. When you scream, no one will hear you. But you know the thing about not building walls? People get to just walk into your life and demand a space even if they've hurt you. You know nothing about my life. I know that you love your daughter very much and that your ex-husband, baby daddy or whoever is trying to take her away from you. I understand. No, you don't understand. And don't come out here saying all these things because you think these are the things I want to hear. There is a line between us. Don't cross it. It was a good night, okay? I hope you understand the value of family that you have. I need to go. Are you dropping me off or do I need to take a ride? I'll drop you off. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, Mom. Nice. Right, time to go. Time to go away. Aren't you both supposed to stay for the two weeks? Oh, I have to get to work and I have some personal stuff I need to attend to. Yes. See, it has taken her a lot of time to select this movie we're about to watch. Yep. And she has organized special seating arrangement for everyone. Princess, show them where their spaces are. Okay. Mom, you stay there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You stay there. Mm -hmm. You stay here. Okay, Mom. <laughs> what movie 
do you like to work with? I thought you already made a selection, baby. Okay. I'm <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sir? It's okay. It's just a minor glitch. I can fix it. Yes, I can fix it tonight and then I'll deliver it tomorrow. All right, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be working tonight. <laughs> I can't sleep in that. Let me get you something that you could change into. This is dirty. This is dirty. You pile up dirty clothes. <laughs> Usually the dry cleaner comes by weekend to pick them up. <laughs> you clearly don't know how to do anything and the pizza obsession makes a lot of sense. Because I know you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to do your laundry, you don't have a girlfriend. Hmm, I see. How is eating pizza for breakfast a bad thing? What is wrong with that? If not for pizza loyalists like myself, how would your company be able to make money and employ people like you? Okay, I found one. Like. Okay. All right, so um Uh what What do you think you're doing? We're just a pretend couple. We need to set boundaries. Bathroom. Uh, it's right here. Oh. Eh, Mr. Landlord, please, I'm begging you. Just give me some more time. I beg. What I begged you, and I pleaded with you. Sir? Yes, I know it's overdue. I know. Sir, please, I'm begging you. Where do you want me? Hello? Hello? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um, what do you think you're doing? Um, um, I'm sorry. I never wanted to eavesdrop. That's not what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to use the bathroom. Look, I know that you have rent issue. It's rude to eavesdrop on people's conversations. Why don't you stay here? You can stay longer than the planned four days. My mom is getting along with Juliet. It will break their hearts to tear them apart. And I know that your friend is not around, so you don't have anywhere to go. Why don't you just take my offer? Accept it and complete the two weeks. When I pay you the money, you can then pay for your rent. It's a win-win. Okay. All right, so whenever you're ready, we can go over to the house and pick up some of your things. I'll just call the landlord. All right. Out. So 
this place again? If it were you, would you allow them to take your daughter to a strange man's house without you knowing their whereabouts? You scared her with the court papers and she did not budge. That is the only legal way you can get custody of your daughter. Furthermore, because it is a girl, the court is more likely to grant the mother custody than you. I assure you that we can prove that she cannot take care of the child and that is going to take a little than a month. Look, I don't have time for court proceedings, okay? I don't have time for a court case. I have to go back. I have to leave this country. I just came for my daughter. I don't even care about her mother. I just want my child. At this point, that is the only course of action I am allowed to take legally. Do not do anything stupid. Instead of this legal bruhaha, try to find another strategy. She was your first love. You need to find a way to get into her head and make her feel at ease. And when you finish your child visa, you simply leave one day. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I've expanded the interface of the app and I've upgraded the AI that we can have an almost human interaction with the users. Exactly, sir. I can assure you that its users will be dependent on it for, for complex situations. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Thanks, Mom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It can have an almost human communication with its users. Yes, a lot of complex information has been stored in it. <laughs> so, I, I guarantee you that any user of this app will be dependent on it. Yes, sir. How would you deal with that? I just pretend like he's not here. We should do the same thing. Does he ever get time of this? Not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my darling. Come, come over here. Have you had breakfast? Um, maybe. Maybe? Okay, have some tea. Why is he always working on his laptop? Because adults have to work, baby. Okay. <laughs> Mama. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thing is that this particular program is very complex, so it's quintessential that we try to have... Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You seem very distracted. I cannot afford to have you mess this up for me. Okay. If your head is not in the right place, tell me, and I will give it to someone else. Fix the damn program. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? What is your problem? Good morning to you, too. Can you move out of my way now? Have you seen your mother this morning? I think I have. You think? That woman gave you coffee and all you did was nod. She came all the way from Abuja and all you've done is pay her not a single attention. Why? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I never asked for her to come. I never asked for any of this. You all have no idea how this whole thing about you all being in my space is affecting me and my work. I can't think straight. Everywhere I turn, you all are there, breathing over my head, telling me how to live my life. Do you know how easy it is to work with computer programs than humans. Humans are very difficult and complicated. And I do not want complications in my life. So please, leave me alone.
<laughs> so, tell me. Tell you what? How did you two meet? Um, <clears throat> we met. We met at work. My work. He came to buy pizza, and he wouldn't leave. <laughs> and then he asked if I was going to work that evening. I, I said no. And then he asked that we met outside of work. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, my word. That young man is so unromantic. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he got that from. His father, mm -hmm. my late husband, was so romantic. Oh, wow. He knew exactly what to say and how to say it and at the right time to say it. Really? Yeah. He also was a techie, but he never allowed his work to come between our relationship. I mean, he had all the time for me. My husband really loved me. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. So, my darling, I'll just plead with you to please be patient with Raymond. You see, beyond the carelessness and selfishness lies a little boy that craves for love and affection. I beg you again, please love and take care of him. He's all I have in this whole world. I want to be rest assured that I'm leaving him in good hands when I'm long gone. Oh, Mama, please stop that talk. You're not going anywhere. You would leave to see your children's children's children. Okay? <laughs> Juliet is my granddaughter. <laughs> She's all I need in a grandchild. I mean, she has the energy of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's make that makes me so happy. <laughs> yes, Mama. You promise me you'll take care of my son. Uh, Mama, of course. Uh, all, all will be well. Are you okay? Yes, my sweet angel, I'm fine. I just had a little thin stock in my throat. Please go call um, Aunt Janet for me. Okay. She's just tired and weak. She needs to rest. Okay. Oh. 
Sweetie. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell Auntie Anita and Uncle Ray anything. Okay. Good girl. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, you're getting weaker. Yeah, but that's supposed it's supposed to happen. We need to tell Raymond what is going on at this point. No, 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 please. Janet, you like to panic. It's just cough. Sister, it's just what, sister what are you doing? Yeah? I can't carry this thing alone, no. It's too heavy now. How do you expect me to watch you sleep by day by day? <coughs> sorry, sorry. Listen, Janet, please. Just a little more time. Can you see the happiness this little girl brings? I don't want that to disappear. Please. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> Maybe if you lie down, you will feel a bit better. reason why you keep calling me. You need to stop calling me. <laughs> oh, you thought I was checking out because you brought a court case. You want to go to court? I will go to court. Or you, you think I'm scared? I'm not scared. Don't call my phone. We will meet in court. Jesus. Um, Anita, mm -hmm. are you... I'm sorry about my outburst earlier today. The thing is that I've been having a hard time with work. I don't think it's me you need to apologize to. You should apologize to your mom and make amends. Yeah, she asked how we met, by the way. Really? Yeah. What did you say? That we met at work, my work. You didn't have anything romantic to say. You're not exactly romantic. And you know, I now understand why you don't have a girlfriend. You are married to that laptop all day, every day, bent over like a robot. It's work. Oh, I didn't say it wasn't. I just hope you don't wake up one day and realize that the people who love you are no longer here. You need to live. You need to learn to live. Live in the moment. You have people that care about you. Live life. Just drop that laptop for one day and live. Maybe when you're ready, they won't be here.